Hello friend, with Terraria 1.4 coming out, there's going to be so many new changes out there. And well, with every new amazing addition, there's bound to be something that's taken away because it was just too strong. Well, that's why I'm here to cover all the huge nerfs in Terraria 1.4, and what that means for lots of popular techniques, skips, and cheese. I'm Zuzukorn and I aim to entertain, encourage, and give casuals a place to go home. So subscribe now and join the casual family. Let's start off right away with everyone's favourite pickaxe skip, the Reaver Shark. For many Terraria players, the Reaver Shark is a powerful pickaxe, obtainable right from the beginning of the game. Able to mine all the way to the first tier of hard mode ore, which is Cobalt or Palladium. All you needed was 50% fishing power to get it, which was achieved easily using enchanted night crawlers and the basic iron fishing pole. This made every pre-hard mode pickaxe basically irrelevant. After getting the reaver shark, you could skip the gold pickaxe, the nightmare pickaxe, and even the molten pickaxe. The Terraria developers felt that it took away too much from progression, and are nerfing it hard. In Terraria 1.4, the Reaver Shark can only mine up to Demonite, which is the same level as a Gold Pickaxe. What does this mean exactly? Well, I personally think that it has basically killed the entire skip. Getting Gold Ore to make the Gold Pickaxe isn't too difficult, compared to farming Fallen Stars and Worms for the Enchanted Nightcrawlers. Getting the Reaver Shark might still come as a form of novelty, because, well, it's not every day you can swing a shark as a pickaxe. But say goodbye to the insane pickaxe progression. The next one is a game changer. In Terraria 1.4, Martian Saucer Lasers and Moon Lord Lasers now pass through blocks. A really popular way to farm the Martian Saucers during the Martian Madness event was to build a box and just use something like a Daedalus Stormbow to attack it. Similarly, a popular Moon Lord method was to build a row of blocks just to block the lasers. Well, surprise, that doesn't work anymore. So it seems that we now have to use an alternate method for these bosses. For the Moon Lord, I guess the Asphalt method still works, but for the Saucer, that will probably need some testing. So yeah, no more cheesing those bosses for easy loot drops. While we are on the topic of the Daedalus Stormbow, many weapons are getting tweaks and adjustments. And well, a popular combo was the Daedalus Stormbow with Holy Arrows. This synergy was crazy and was able to shred the destroyer in less than a minute. Sad to say, the developers found this way too broken, and both the Stormbow and Holy Arrows are getting nerfed. Firstly, the Daedalus Stormbow is getting its damage reduced from 43 to 38. Its firing rate when firing Holy, Unholy, Hellfire and Jester Arrows has also been reduced. Similarly, Holy Arrows have been nerfed, such that the star summon will no longer pierce. This means that the stars will disappear once they hit something. The star summon also now do 50% damage instead of 100%. Honestly, this is a huge nerf. Will it kill the combo synergy? Probably not, but I'm sure it won't be as crazy as it was before. Another big change are to fishing crates. A technique many people like to use was to save their fishing crates obtained pre-hard mode and open them only after they enter hard mode. Fishing crates used to give you different loot depending on when you open them. The thing was, if you open them in hard mode, you can get all the hard mode ores like titanium and mithril. So saving up the crates that you obtain pre-hard mode to open in hard mode was a good way to gain access to all these powerful ores right away. However, in Terraria 1.4, crates will only give you loot depending on when it was fished. This means that even if you save crates from pre-hard mode, they will no longer give you hard mode ores. A pity, but I guess it was too easy to get hard mode ores using this method. Well, here's a hit to the best pre-hard mode money farm. Granite golems and jellyfish spawn from the statues will have their drop rates lowered. The selling value of their drops have also been adjusted. Well, this change was made as there's a very simple pre-hard mode money farm that you can actually learn about here. This farm is easy to set up and could generate lots of gold AFK. I've tested the farm in 1.4 and sad to say, it doesn't really work anymore. 
These statues no longer drop loot when killed by lava, making the AFK farm no longer usable. Even when you manually kill them, the drop rates are just too low to do anything. The next notable nerf comes to the Fetid Bagnes, the fastest melee weapon in Terraria. This weapon has the fastest attack speed, but a very short range. The Fetid Bagnes now has its damage reduced from 70 to 60, and its attack speed has been decreased as well. In 1.4, it also only gains 25% benefit from melee speed stats, such as modifiers and stat bonuses. Honestly, this is a huge nerf, and you probably won't be able to see some insane rapid-fire attacks anymore. The next big change is to wings. Notably, the leaf wings have now been nerfed. In Terraria 1.4, wings have been adjusted to better fit the game progression. Leaf wings were a high-tier set of wings that was obtainable straight away in hard mode, only requiring one platinum to be bought from the Witch Doctor. This meant that 80% of wings were basically irrelevant. Most people would just start off harder mode with leaf wings, then keep those until they reach the fishron wings. Well, with the new adjustments, the leaf wings are likely to now be a low tier wing, giving players more incentive to slowly craft better and better wings as they progress through the game. So no more crazy wing skips. A small but somewhat notable one here, you no longer get stack benefits from wearing multiple Celestial Stone variants. The Celestial Stone is an accessory that gives you the following stat boosts. However, it can also be crafted into the Celestial Shell, which boosts your stats even further. Previously, wearing both gave you both the stat bonuses, making you extremely tough and strong. Now, the bonuses no longer stack, so there's no real reason to craft a second Celestial Stone in Terraria 1.4. One last thing I'd like to mention though, the nurse's healing cost will now increase based on your game progression. This won't kill the Moonlord Nurse Cheese, but it definitely means something if you don't have enough money. Well, that covers most of the notable nerfs in Terraria 1.4. There are many other tweaks and number adjustments here and there, but I've picked out the most game-changing ones for you, so you know what's coming up. Will these changes kill insane progression skips? Probably so. With the nerf of the Reaver Shark and Leaf Wings, we probably have to start doing steady progression from now on. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, I guess. It gives us more opportunities to experience what the game has to offer. Will the changes made to the Moonlord and Martian Saucer lasers kill our box cheesing strategies? Yeah, probably. The Daedalus Stormbow and Holy Arrow nerf will probably hurt as well, along with the changes made to fishing crates. But hey, as with every game, I'm sure the community will find a way past these anyway. So if you discover something new when 1.4 hits, make sure to let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more Terraria guides and coverage. This has been Zuzucorn Games, by casuals, for casuals. Have a nice day, and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!